Hey everybody, it's Jason here with a new update for Fire Jumpers Inferno. Uh, so over the last couple of months I've been really working hard on uh, units uh, and how they work and how they interact with the terrain and the fire. So I've got, I think, most of it complete here, so let me show you how it works. Uh, so I've preloaded a map, I've got some units uh, and we can see them down here. I've got uh, some ground troops, uh, I think they're all the engines here. Uh, I think we have another um, ground crew here and we also have aircraft now unfortunately the naming is not right but the color is so uh, the blue are the engines the yellow and we've got some aircrafts so let's take a look here this is really fun uh, so we've got an aircraft here and we've got another aircraft so we've got two of them so we're going to try to manage both of them at the same time and I'm going to increase the game speed to 10 uh, so here we go. So uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, that uh, the aircraft is kind of like a point uh, to kind of steer them. It's very, very basic, uh, but it is fun. Uh, let's come over to this aircraft. And uh, what happens is if I click anywhere, uh, it will continue on the same trajectory. So if it was kind of going in a circle, it will keep going into a very large circle. Uh, but I can kind of move around. Oh, here's the other aircraft. You, you can kind of see both of them are kind of going in circles. And this uh, helps just so that you don't have to keep track of, you know, everything while you're, uh, you know, moving other units, right? So we can move these guys over here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let's kind of go back to one of these aircrafts. Uh, I have this new HUD. Um, and it is just to kind of give you some some indication of what's going on. So we've got the altitude over here. It's very dim. Uh, this is the speed, and we've got all this kind of fun, uh, you know, uh, aircraft kind of HUD. Uh, this is something that I downloaded uh, from the internet and kind of worked it out, removed and added th things just to make it work for, for the aircrafts. So let's come down here. Uh, one of the things here, oh, there's... Is one of the aircrafts um, is uh, the camera distance. So right now it is in a third perspective, uh, you know, to to the to the aircraft. But as I get closer to the ground, uh, the more it'll come right into kind of a first person perspective, and that happens automatically. Uh, I may have the option where you can kind of toggle that feature off, uh, but it'll just kind of be on or as an option. Uh, and then if you start kind of going up in altitude, uh, the camera distance is going to zoom out back to kind of a third person perspective. And then you get a much, uh, you know, better view of what's going on around you like that. And then you can just kind of let it go. And you can kind of see it just going in circles. Where's the other one? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right. Meanwhile, this guy, he's literally just walking that distance. So even at 10 times speed, he's not moving super fast. Um, and we've got these guys. So yeah, let's start a little fire here. Let's see what happens. Um, from here, an hour, two hours. Let's go three hours, four hours, five hours. Oh yeah, six hours. Oh, seven. Oh, the sun is going to start setting here. All right. So we've got uh, we've got a fire. It's pretty big. Let's bring down the uh, the gain speed here so we can fight the fire properly. Turn this around. It's kind of uh, head in the right direction here. All right. And one of the, the, the kind of fun things here is that once you get it kind of lined up, you can uh, kind of change perspective and, and, and watch the aircraft uh, drop the water. So I'm just going to bring down the altitude here. Here we go. All right. And now... You can just kind of watch it uh, start to extinguish that fire. Now it's a little bit overpowered right now. 
uh, and, and it's not running out of water. So anything that's in the area, it's hitting all of those spots. So, but you can see it is, it is quite effective, uh, especially on the sides like that. And, and the unit will just keep going. I can come back to it. You know, I can head it towards water. Get the other one. This guy's all by itself here. And uh, let's see here. Gonna come back. Line that up. Come back to the other one. Is it already? Go through the fire here? Let's see. It must have, yeah. And and this is this is kind of what the gameplay will be. Um, you know, might have other objectives and things like that. But um, we can get uh, where are the other troops here? Yeah, these fires in the front are way too big. Wow, look at that smoke! I can't see anything. All right, let's see. You guys should not be hitting the head of this fire here. Get out of the way. All right. Oh, we just missed the aircraft. All right, we can just turn that around. Make kind of a slow circle here. All right, let's get this unit back, back in the action. Here we go. All right, dun, 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 dun. might be a little bit too high. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, so. Definitely doing, doing some work here. But I think this fire is completely out of control. I don't have it nearly in the capacity here, but that's okay. That's okay. This guy. around let's see all right oh yeah he's too high <laughs> it was roughly I was close I was close Over here. Oh, oh, that's the same one. Look at that aircraft is going the wrong way. Let's turn it around. All right. Yeah, it is. Uh, It's kind of yeah. This is this is not under control at all. I would need a lot more units. All right. Probably a lot more people. I think you know it's hard to manage that many. You can see just trying to manage two aircrafts in a. And all the rest. Of course, I mean, I do have it kind of at a at a higher gain speed. I'm sure, if I got the other units all in in the right area and slowed it down, I could probably manage with this many units. But uh, yeah, so that is uh, that is basically my demonstration here. Um, 
and uh, we can just have fun bringing it to like 20. This can be uh, actually let's let's start a new map. Something where we just get to fly around here. Some cities. Yeah, let's see this part here. Load everything, load the units. So not too bad. All right, whoa. Yeah, all right. Takes a minute just to get used to uh, flying at 20 here. Let's get this one in a circle. Getting, oh yeah, you're way out here. Let's bring you back. Okay, where's this map here? There it is. And so I worked out, uh, you know, it, it, it is fairly um, fairly smooth, um, you know, until the, the laptop starts to heat up. But, uh, but you can see even at 20, and I can uh, increase it, the speed. I, I'm really going fast here. Yeah, this is what I've been doing too, just, just flying around. Let's see if we can get closer here. Whoa. Oh, here's the other craft. Hey, let's go fly with it. All right, hey, it's a chase. I wonder if I can tag him. Again, there's no crashing, so let's see here. If I get ahead. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it's close. Oh, maybe not that close. Wait, I gotta cut him off there. Now we're gonna catch up. Oh yeah, this is way too fun. I gotta get a copy for you guys to, to try, just so you guys can see what this is. Let's see, let's make two circles here. And if I level that just right, I can just have one follow the other in perpetuity. Haha, uh -huh, look at that. There we go. I, I can definitely see this in multiplayer. Everybody's doing their thing. They've got their aircrafts, they've got helicopters, you know, ground troops, fires going, and, and it's all mostly server side, right? So uh, it keeps everything, you know, pretty, pretty decent, you know, with frame rate. Um, so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, I think that is it for my demonstration. Uh, thank you for your time, and I will see you in the next video.